Welcome to Toffee TV. This is the Everton News Daily. Everton season ticket holders have until the 5th of November to ensure that the data regarding their tenure is correct. An email has been sent to all season ticket members allowing you to do this. People with 23 years will be the first fans to be able to choose their tickets at the new stadium. So it's important that you check the data is correct. Uh, and, you know, there may be lots of reasons why it's not correct, whether you, you may have moved seats, you may have changed your name, you may have, I don't know, had a, had a year off or whatever, but uh, you should have received an email. I've gone over and checked mine. Mine is correct, um, and it's really important. As I said, you've got till the end of the day on the 5th of November because you we will all be put into bands obviously the people with 23 years and a lot of people have asked why it's 23 years it's because that's when the client numbers first come in that's really when the data starts for everyone's season tickets before that it was all um paper evidence I I would imagine and Everton don't have that anymore so as was uh, said yesterday if you've got 23 years, you'll be the first, of course, if you are with a group of people and there's people below you in a different band, you'll have to wait for them um, to get your tickets. But it's really important that that information is secure because if you if you go on there, and I know some people have gone on there and their data they believe is wrong, you've got till the 5th of November to put that in to the club um, because once they are available in the new year, That'll be it, won't it? You know, it, it will be. The longest will get their first opportunity, so you want to make sure you're on there. So it's really, really important that everyone checks that email uh, and gets that sorted. Um, you should all have an email attached to your uh, client number so the club can send it out to you. I don't think there's any way, any way around that these days. So make sure you check your email. That's what we're saying. So you don't miss out. You might have had yours for 50 years. Someone sent me a picture yesterday of their season ticket from 1973, I think it was. Um, of course, data doesn't go all the way back for them. They have that physical ticket. What you got to make sure is you don't miss out because you've earned the right to be first in the queue uh, for whatever stand you want to go to. So listen, it the, the whole system doesn't suit everyone. I know I had a few people say to me, you know what, my dad's bought me a season ticket and I'm an adult now, but I've only got X amount of years and I'm holding them back. I get all that, but I think this probably is the fairest way to do it. It doesn't suit every every single person. It's not going to be great for every single person, but as I said, just make sure that if you've got the years, you confirm what those years are. Uh, Everton under-21s played last night in the EFL Trophy at Atkinson Stanley. Uh, they were beaten, sadly, 2-1. A goal from uh, Armstrong Harrison um, got Everton back on level terms after an, there was an own goal. Um, but uh, against the run of play, Josh Woods scored the winning goal in the second half. That's... Uh, two de two defeats out of the three games the under twenty ones have played so far in the tournament. And listen, it's good experience. It's good experience for all of them. Uh, Roman Dixon played last night. As I said, ha Harrison Armstrong played. You know, players who've been around the first team. Really good experience for them playing against uh, players who have first team players at the lower end of um, of you know the the, the divisions. But um, it's it's all good experience and. Sadly, they got beat. They got beat last night, but it's it's all good for their development. Uh, one of Everton's academy players on loan at Salford City, Francis Francis Ocheronku, scored his second goal for them last night in a two-two draw uh, with Fleetwood Town. He scored in ninety plus eight minutes to get a dramatic late equaliser so fantastic to see him score he hasn't scored since his debut um i think it was back in september so he's had to wait a little bit for that second goal but he's done it in a dramatic style another Everton player on loan is harry tyler who has been uh, he's been dropped at blackpool sadly uh, steve agnew who's currently taking charge due to steve bruce being away on compassionate leave said harry has done well 
and made saves at crucial times. He's a terrific young goalkeeper. In the last few games, we've conceded goals. We're not saying that's down to the goalkeeper because it's not. We made changes in the back four as well. It's a big call because you can't change your keeper very often. Well, they changed them for the game against Wigan on Monday and they drew 2-2, so the defence wasn't that great. It's an interesting one because Harry Tyler had been doing really well and... Um, We've obviously seen a good progression from him in the lower leagues, getting more experience um, every game. And that's brilliant because like, you look at someone like David Raya, he was on loan at Southport when he was at Black Blackburn. And look at him now, he's at Arsenal, he's, he's fighting for the Champions League and the Premier League. So, you know, it's not necessarily the team these players play for, it's the experience they get when they're playing from especially goalkeepers. So it is a little bit disappointing that he's being dropped. Um, it's up to him to fight fight his way back into the team. Um, we'll have to wait and see what happens with that, but it's a good opportunity for him to get his head down. We'll have to wait and see if he's still on the bench come January. Do Everton recall him? Everton have obviously got Billy Crellon on loan at Atkinson Stanley, who obviously couldn't play in that game last night, who's doing well as well. I think he got man of the match at the weekend. So two young goalkeepers uh, fighting it out, um, maybe for an opportunity in the next few years to be... Everton's number one. We'll have to wait and see. Obviously, Jordan Pickford's not getting any younger and there will be uh, conversations about the, the backup goalkeepers at the end of the season with their contracts. So two young goalkeepers, we'll wait and see. But uh, ha there's a fight on Farley Tyler now. Can he get back into the Blackpool team? We'll wait and see. If he can't, then Everton have got to make a decision because he should be playing football. He's a young Good, talented goalkeeper and shouldn't be sitting on the bench anyway. Um, so we'll wait and see on that one. There you go. This has been the Everton News Daily. Make sure to give this video a like. Subscribe if you haven't already. And don't forget, go and check out that email for your tenure and make sure it's all correct so you don't miss out on uh, your your season ticket placement for when, the, when we're picking them for our new stadium. Thanks for watching. See you later.